Dad, do you have a minute? Isabella? I really need to talk to you about something, and I really need your help. You're coming home today, right? Maybe we can talk about it when you get home. It has to be now. I don't think it's a good idea that mom finds out about it. Just for this month, I need you to send money. Send you money? Yeah, I can't take it anymore. What do you mean? I work part time but don't make enough money to live and can't afford to eat. So, can you send me some money even if it's only $150? What? But you spend $3,000 per month. What? What are you talking about? I thought we had given you a credit card just for you. Is it possible that your mom did not give it to you? I am more confused now. I created a credit card for you to use for living expenses while you are living alone and instructed your mother to give it to you. Really? She didn't give it to me. Mom never mentioned the credit card to me in the first place. You've been living alone for three months, right? I just wanted to let you know because your bill has a balloon to $3,000. Okay, I don't spend that much. I'm living off the earnings from my high school part time job. You're right. There's no way you would spend that much money. Besides, mom told me something like this. Like what? She explained, We don't have any money, so we can only pay for your tuition. The rest of the time, you'll have to work part time to make ends meet. I don't mean to brag, but our family is fairly well off. I believe we can pay more than your tuition. When I asked her about it, she said you went into debt because of your business. Of course not. First of all, I can't think of any reason why I would go into debt. I said the same thing, but mom said, It appears he doesn't want us to know, so let's pretend we don't. That is not possible. If I ever get into debt, I'll be completely honest with you. I know. There's no way you'd keep something so important from us. Why would Amelia do such a thing? Is she the one responsible for the credit card use? I think it's quite possible. Amelia's mood appears to have shifted in a negative direction recently. That's not all. Actually, about $150 of the part time job money I saved during high school, she asked me to wire it to her, so I did. What? Why didn't you tell me that earlier? I didn't want to worry you. Besides, Mom told me that our finances are tight. How long has it been since you've eaten? For the past four days, I haven't eaten properly. Every two days, only one meal of pastries. No matter how much you eat, that will destroy your body. I live in a college dorm, but I have to purchase meal tickets for breakfast and other meals. That money went toward my dorm rent for the second semester. Rent? To pay the rent with my current savings, I'd have to drastically reduce my food consumption. You don't have to do that. I'm the one who should be paying for it. Besides, if it's rent, I already. Paid it for a year. Really? I thought you haven't paid for it. I'm sorry, Isabella. I didn't realize you were suffering like that. It's understandable that you didn't notice because I live in a dorm. But even so, I appreciate it. Anyway, today's my day off, so let's go out to lunch. I'll pick you up at the station. Dad, Thank you. You can order whatever you like. Oh, wow.
But why did Amelia decide to say I was in debt? I can't help but feel she's up to something. My name is Noah Miller. I am a department manager at a large insurance company. My family consists of me, Amelia, and Isabella, my daughter. Isabella was on her way to our house on a train just a few days ago when she texted me saying she didn't have any money and couldn't afford to eat. She didn't get the credit card, and Amelia was lying to her. Furthermore, the money she worked hard to earn from her high school part-time job was taken from her, which shocked me. Isabella was malnourished and skinny when I met her at the station. So, I immediately took her to a restaurant she wanted to go to. I was relieved to see her enjoying her meal. At the same time, I began to have doubts about Amelia. Concerning the use of the credit card and the money Isabella earned from her part-time job. I thought that Amelia was probably involved in this case. I don't want to doubt my beloved wife, but she's been behaving strangely recently and I can't help but seriously doubt her. I will ask her about it tomorrow. Hey, honey. What's up? I'm busy right now, so please make it quick. This is serious. It's a family affair. What the hell are you trying to say? Do you remember when I gave you Isabella's credit card? Yes, I remember. I asked you to give that card to her, but you never did. I handed it to her. Maybe she just lost it. She's always been a bit careless. I don't think so. Isabella may take a long time to get ready, but she has never forgotten anything. Is that so? And you know, she's always been good with money. I didn't know that. You're her mom. You should know that. What's the point? Are you saying you'll make me take care of the house and Isabella? That's not it. Isn't it natural for a parent to comprehend their child's personality? How should I know that? Gosh, you are... Besides, I heard you told Isabella some weird things. Weird things? That I'm in debt because of the company and can't send her money because we're struggling to make ends meet. How can you tell such a lie to my daughter? Isn't Isabella just lying? She would never lie like that. Isabella hasn't been able to eat in days because of you. It must have been extremely difficult for her. Really? That's not all. I heard that Isabella sent you $150. That's another of her lies. Why do you think I'm guilty of everything? Because you have a history. Huh? Don't you remember doing the same thing before? No, I don't. You did take money from my mom's purse the last time you went to my parents' house, didn't you? Oh, about that. But it's a thing of the past. Who cares? My mom found out and got very angry with you. She was exaggerating her outrage over a few hundred dollars. She only had to save the money again. It's not that easy to save money. Even if that's true, we didn't have any money, so we had no other choice. I have to cook meals for my family, so I need to pay for the ingredients. But I give you enough money every month, remember? And I told you that you could withdraw the money for food from our shared account. What do you expect me to do with a mere $1,500? I think that's more than enough. I mean, you can tell the difference between what you can and cannot do just because it's someone you know, right? Well, forget it. Remember how you got down on your knees and promised not to do it again and that you'd work to repay her? 
That's correct. Isn't that why I worked part time for a month to pay back the money? That's right. That's why we forgave you. But lately, don't you think something's not right? What? Isn't your clothing becoming more flashy and your makeup thicker? Of course, I'm a woman. At the very least, I must dress up. Even so, it's too flashy. But that's my business, isn't it? You're not spending much time at home these days. Who is it that you call every night? Why should you care? Do you know about all of my friendships? You always say that when you have something to hide. Shut up! Anyway, I'm going out. That's enough. Amelia, you did it again? What's wrong? The credit card thing. I knew it was you, Mom. I don't understand. I can't believe you are also cheating on me. I would never do such a thing. Don't play dumb. I have proof. Mom, you really haven't changed at all. I told you I didn't do anything. How did you investigate me in the first place? In fact, I went to a detective agency two weeks ago, the day after I communicated with you, because your behavior was too suspicious. You never told me about it. He didn't. I mean, it wouldn't make any sense if he told you. But I'm sure it wasn't a big agency, right? Because all detectives are liars. You may have been presented with evidence of a lie. That is impossible because they are a well-known firm. To begin with, if they were false, rumors would spread quickly on the internet nowadays, and I doubt they would be able to stay in business. Don't you think so? Who knows? I'm not sure how long you can act so optimistically. You're behaving assertively, so why don't you tell me what you found out? I'm curious what kind of nonsense the famous detective told you. You met a guy in his twenties at a coffee shop in front of the station a week ago, right? And you two exchanged a passionate kiss in public, didn't you? Hmm. That's it. And then you went to a hotel together. Right, you did this during the day. I'm about to throw up. We are just friends. Then why would two friends go to a hotel like that? It was simply a request for some life advice. Then you could have gone somewhere else. Why did you two have to go all the way to the hotel? Two strangers, a man and a woman. I go through some difficult times myself. What do you mean by difficult times? That's none of your business. Of course it is. We're family. You're persistent. It doesn't matter what it's about. You've changed the topic. I've already met the man with whom you're cheating on me. No way. I just wanted to say a few words to him because he's been taking care of my wife. Why did you even bother to meet him? The guy then turned pale and told me about his affair with you. Did he open his mouth? This is horrible. Oh, so now you admitted it. Huh? That was just a bluff. Dad has never met the guy. Oh shit! I didn't mean to say that. Thanks for digging a hole for yourself. You are making fun of me. You did the same thing to us, didn't you? We are even. We've eliminated the possibility that the detective is a liar. Besides, the evidence. 
the detective sent us isn't just photos, you know. You can't get away with it anyway because the recorded data is included in the evidence. What do you mean? In the data you said, if it's money, I have plenty of it. My husband gave me a credit card and my daughter gave me money. So here it is. Don't tell me you don't remember saying that. You've got to be kidding. Was that even recorded? You must underestimate us so much. You were crying and regretting what you've done a few years ago. What happened to you, though? There is a saying, danger past and God forgotten. But that doesn't mean you can forget everything. People forget insignificant memories. And does that mean that the incident was unimportant to you? That can't be true! I'm sorry for what happened to you guys. If you feel that way, why would you do it again? It's because you haven't been paying attention to me lately and Isabella has moved out. But that doesn't mean you can do the same thing twice. I'm sorry, I won't do it again. How can I trust you? I will punish you thoroughly now. What are you going to do to me? I'm going to demand that you and your partner pay for the damage you caused us. And I'll make sure you pay the credit card bill as well as the $150 you took from my daughter. The total will be well over $7,500. Stop it! I'm a housewife. There's no way I can pay. Why don't you just work part-time and pay us back like you did before? We're not your ATM, okay? You keep making the same mistakes over and over again. I will never forgive you. You're both terrible. That's too much. How could you do this to me? That is exactly what we want to say to you. How can you say such a thing after doing so many terrible things to your family? You betrayed your husband, you betrayed your daughter, and you betrayed yourself. Don't be ridiculous. <sighs> hey, what does family mean to you? Is it a useful tool for you? Speak up. It's... First of all, what angered me was the fact that you forced Isabella to starve herself. I didn't put her through that. What are you talking about? You took money from your daughter. I was stunned and speechless when I saw Isabella so thin. I thought the family was suffering, so I tried my best not to depend on the two of them for money, okay? Isabella had put up with so many things for the sake of her family. You have a lot of guts to exploit my daughter's family-oriented heart. I just wanted some money. I never intended to take advantage of her. As a result, Isabella couldn't eat for days. I'm sorry, but it's over, isn't it? No way. Apologize properly to Isabella. You did the worst thing a parent can do. What's your problem? You can't change the past. You must not dwell on my mistakes in the past. That has nothing to do with this. Can't you even apologize for something you did wrong? That's not the point. What is your mental age? Making excuses after doing something wrong is similar to a child. I get it. I'll apologize, okay? Whatever, I'm sorry. You're not sorry at all. Then, I have no other choice but to divorce you. Huh? Isn't it obvious? You took money from your daughter and aren't sorry, but you're always complaining about it. That's correct. And you grudgingly apologize to me in this manner. I don't need a mother like you. I can't be with a wife who doesn't take care of her own daughter. Wait a minute. Of course, 
I'll see to it that you pay for the damage and money you stole from me. Got it? I won't do it again. To be honest, when you stole my mom's money, I should have divorced you. So, I guess I was still green when I forgive you. I was carried away by my emotions and forgave you because we are also family. I wish I could slap the shit out of myself at that point. Please! I don't want a divorce. Please reconsider. I love you guys with all my heart. You mean as an ATM, right? No, it's not. I can't believe what you say. I'm saying goodbye to you forever. You've made life difficult for Isabella and me. You should put yourself in our shoes. If your enemies hurt you, take double the payback. Forgive me. I then filed a compensation claim against Amelia and the man with whom she was having an affair. The guy claimed he wasn't serious about the relationship, but that's not an excuse. Amelia was forced to work at a nearby factory. Amelia was crying at first, saying she didn't want to do hard labor any longer. Isabella, on the other hand, told her sternly that she had to pay for everything she had done. Up to this point, she reluctantly agreed. There is also a Miss Bossy Pants at the factory who is constantly sarcastic with her. Amelia begs me every day to quit, but I don't care. The amount of money she owes me is several thousand dollars, so it will take time to repay. I divorced her without difficulty, and Isabella is staying with me. Amelia believes that if I see her working hard, I will reconsider divorcing her. She's having a dream like that, but I haven't changed my mind. <laughs>